player from editing visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the 3D particle title card in After Effects. And before we start the tutorial we recently launched a new editing pack called the Damaged TV Pack and if you guys want to buy it we have a discount code for it which is going to be Povikas and when you use that you will save $5. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do here is basically to add a text to our composition here. And I'm basically just going to type particle. After that, go to align, center it. And these are my text settings if you guys want to use the same. The font here you can find on dafont.com if you guys want to use the same. We're going to add the effect to the text layer, which is going to be fractal noise. And here I'm going to be increasing the contrast a little bit to something like that around 200. And after that, I'm going to be holding Alt and press the clock here on evolution. And here I'm going to type time star key 150. It's basically going to make this kind of animation here. And we're going to be using the fractal noise effect here as a texture for the particle effect later. After that, you're going to be pre-composing the text here, so mark it, pre-compose, and here we're going to add an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y, and here we're going to be adding a turbulent displays. I'm going to be increasing the size here to 300, and then I'm going to be keyframing the amount here, so 50 in the beginning, then go to 4 seconds, set it to 0. After that, keyframe the evolution as well, so click the clock here in the beginning, go to the ending, go one full lap here, just like that. After that, you open the layer up. And here you can mark the keyframes for the amount. Press F9, open up the graph, pretty sharp graph, it's going to look pretty smooth. After that, make a, another adjustment layer, so Ctrl Alt Y. Here we're going to be adding CC ball action. And here we're going to set the grid spacing to 0, the ball size to 75, scatter to 1. And then I'm going to be keyframe the scatter motion here. So I'm going to press the clock, go to the ending, just like that. After that, go back to the beginning, keyframe the display setting here. So press the clock, start the displace amount to 750. So it's going to look something like this here, looks pretty cool. And then go to the ending at 4 seconds, set it to 0. But I'm going to open up the adjustment layer, effects, CC ball action. And here I'm going to be marking the keyframes, F9. And then open up the displace graph here and make it sharper, something like that. Now for the final touch here, I'm going to be adding a glow. So make a new adjustment layer, Ctrl Alt Y, here add glow. I'm going to set the glow threshold to zero here and drag down the glow intensity to 0.7. After that, press Ctrl D, set the glow threshold to 60% and the glow radius to 250. And then the glow intensity to 0.6. Once more, Ctrl D on the glow, set the glow radius to 500 and then the glow intensity to 0.5 and our text is going to look something like this now, pretty pretty cool in my opinion. Now I'm going to be adding a music video or my like footage I'm going to use for this title card here. I added the footage and then I'm going to be pre-composing this text here, pre-compose, name it text, I'll look something like this. I like to uh, go to toggle switches and modes and then change the in blending mode to uh, difference. I think this looks pretty cool and makes a pretty cool look here. And this is the look you're getting now. Pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And if you guys want to spice it up a little bit more, you can add effect from our damaged TV pack here. And as you guys can see, it's very many effects you can use here. But yeah, I'm going to use the first one. Now I have this kind of glitchy looking particle text here. I think it looks super cool. And if you guys want to buy the pack, don't forget to use the discount code POVICAS to save $5. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our website. If you wanna step up your editing, don't forget to check out our socials and join our Discord server and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.